Welcome to Impact Farming, where we introduce you to the people and ideas that will have a massive impact on your farming operation. Brought to you by Farm Marketer. Sit down, start the engine, and let's roll with today's show. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another segment of the Impact Farming Show. Today, we have Dr. Joy Agnew, Associate VP, Applied Research at Olds College. She is joining us today. Welcome, Joy. How are you? I am great. Thank you so much for the invite today. I am excited for our conversation. First off, this is the first segment in our Innovation in Agriculture series, And second, I'm pretty excited about our conversation. We're going to be chatting, just so you guys know, about some exciting things going on at Olds, some initiatives that they have going on that is really going towards the direction of shaping the farms of the future. So, Joy, before we get into all the good stuff, I'll get you to introduce yourself your role, and maybe just chat a little bit about OLDS and the programs you have in case somebody, most people know OLDS, but just in case. You bet. All right. So first of all, I, I came from Saskatchewan. I grew up on a farm in Saskatchewan, actually, and I've dedicated my entire career to applied ag research, essentially. And really my, my passion, like what fills my soul is, is to help producers and the ag industry just understand and adopt and leverage technologies and and data and practices that improve their their productivity and and sustainability. So so my role at Olds College is really a perfect fit (laughs) for that passion because at Olds College, I get to oversee the operation of the Olds College Center for Innovation or, or OCCI, which is the research division of the college. And I have the privilege and honor really of leading an incredible research team and smart farm operations team here, here at the college to conduct, you know, dozens of projects with multiple stakeholders throughout the year to really help address this, this global grand challenge of, of the need to grow more food with, with less, less impact, really. That's ultimately what, what we're, what we're, what we're doing here. So at, at Olds College, obviously, you know, we're located in central Alberta, And the college really has, you know, a hundred plus year legacy of offering egg focused demonstration training and and academic programming. Today, the the academic programs really focus on egg and egg technology, um, animal science, business, horticulture, um, land and environment, trades and skills, um, even Brewmaster and and, uh, the National Meat Training Center is located at Olds College as well. Um, so the college primarily offers post-diploma certificates and, and diplomas and a three-year applied degree um, and is actually expecting to offer its first four-year degree program in Precision Ag very soon. So stay tuned for, for that news. And then the college also offers a, a wide variety of micro-credentials or, or really short courses related to crop and livestock production, um, equine and horticulture production, and even cannabis production so that you know, lifelong learners or mature learners can come back and and upskill and just, you know, dive into a passion project for, for related to ag. Excellent. That's exciting. I didn't know all that. So I'm curious back in my day, when I was looking at colleges and programs, I kind of researched olds a little bit. Of course, that was a few years ago. (laughs) So things have changed with every new innovation it kind of starts with a seed of an idea or somebody sitting down and going, Hey, look at this over here. We want to be over here or we see a need. So I'm curious, when did olds really start to acknowledge that need or really focus in on egg tech and data? Yeah, that's a a great question. So I've been at the college for just over three years since 2019. Um, But I know the the smart farm at Olds College was officially established in 2018. But really the the need or the identification of the need for for training and research in ag tech and data was, was really defined well before that, I think. And there was a lot of discussion and engagement with industry about what are the needs, like what are the skill sets needed to really 
take hold of this precision egg um, explosion of products and services and, you know, all these, these new ideas and technologies were hitting the market and without a real understanding of where, where producers going to go to learn about these, where are they going to go to learn how to utilize them, which ones are most useful for their farms, um, how we're going to build an innovation ecosystem or a platform to help the innovators you know, develop develop ideas and technologies that will really work for Western Canadian farmers. So that that whole precision egg explosion of activity that happened, I think, you know, in the early 2000s even, or actually really started in the late 90s even, um, just kind of started building and building and building and the need for post-secondary training and applied research capacity was born from that. And based on all those discussions and all that industry feedback, um, I think the, the the smart egg ecosystem at Olds College, which includes the smart farm, came from that, which was, like I said, established in 2018. Okay, excellent. So we have producers in our audience from all ages, all backgrounds, all types of farms, as you can imagine. Some are early adopters of technology. Some are like, just leave me alone. I'm overwhelmed, <laughs> which probably many producers are because every day, literally, as you would know, probably even better than I do, there's a new program, a new technology. It can be overwhelming. So let's take a moment before we dive into what you guys are doing and really speak to the benefits, the importance of ag tech and data as it relates to producers in the industry. Can you share a little bit on that? Overwhelming is a really good word, actually, because it, it is overwhelming. And um, just the sheer number of products and, and services that are that are coming out there. And the number one questions that producers always have when they're first you know, shown a, a new, a new gadget or gadget or idea is, will this work for me? And will it generate a return on my investment? Um, but I think there, there is uh, the main benefit in my mind, anyway, the main benefit or potential benefit for ag tech and data utilization on farm is, is minimizing risk. Farming is a risky business and there's a lot of factors beyond the control of, of, of producers that can heavily impact their bottom line. You're thinking about weather for one, um, markets and volatility of, of supply chains and, and transportation, all of that. None of that is controllable by, by the producer. So they need to very finely tune the things they can control. Um, and so, you know, crop rotations and inputs and, and you know, timing of in-season applications and making like one of the million decisions they have to make throughout the growing season or production cycle, um, data and technology can help unravel all the complexity around some of those decisions and help them make really strong evidence-based decisions in season. If we can unravel, if we can unravel the complexities of all that data, because we, we hear from farmers all the time that all the data that they're being bombarded with, with all the monitors that they're using and everything is, is, is overwhelming. They don't even know how to convert that into actionable insights. So there, there's still a lot of work to be done, honestly, on, on making sure that um, technologies and data can, can be used. But I think the, the potential is there to really minimize risk and, and help producers, you know, strengthen that bottom line. Excellent. That is, that sums up a lot of what I hear producers say. They're like, here's all this data. How do we use it? Right. Yeah. Let's get the benefit out of it. Okay. So there's two main initiatives that you guys have on the go that we're going to talk about today, the smart farm and the egg smart event. Do you want to touch on the two of them and then dive right into the smart farm and we'll go from there. I'm excited to learn more. Sure. So I'll, I'll say there's actually three initiatives. The, oh. the third one being that the micro credentials, right? Like the opportunity to, or, or even our, our academic programming, there is, there's a lot right. of, Okay. opportunity for training and, and education through through those more formal channels, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the, the smart farm and, and ag smart are key, two key parts of our overall smart ag ecosystem. So the smart farm essentially is, is our platform to generate content, knowledge, and conduct evaluations and demonstrations of technology. And then ag smart is our platform to disseminate and share, share our results and learnings to the broader community. So Clever. the the farm or the smart farm 
um, it, it's a farm <laughs> and it's a farm that, that Olds College operates as part of its broader teaching, learning and applied research ecosystem here at the college. So we operate 3,600 acres across two provinces uh, with land around Olds, obviously. We have land west of Didsbury, west of Carstairs, near Lacombe, and then near Creek in Saskatchewan. So the, and the farm also includes a 150 head cow calf operation, which includes a 15 head purebred red Angus herd, um, 140 head sheep flock, a thousand head capacity feedlot, and a number of other assets such as greenhouses, a meat processing facility, and, and a brewery. So we really cover, you know, primary production quite heavily, obviously, but we also have capacity and infrastructure across the entire food value chain, so to speak. So our, our current focus obviously is on ag tech or smart ag. So we've incorporated a number of leading edge technologies on the smart farm to support our operations for one, but as well as to provide validation and, and evaluation services for the industry. So we work with dozens of industry partners and innovators each year by providing them with access to a working farm to test and validate their ideas. And then with the help of our, our research team and our subject matter experts, uh, they can further develop and, and optimize their ideas so that they really meet the needs of, of Canadian producers. Excellent. So if there's a company, just uh, my, my inquisitiveness here has a question for you. So if there's a company that's maybe new or in the market, they want to do testing data, do they approach you guys and then you use their product, put it through the testing, and then that's how they get the feedback? Is yeah, that they, how it works? They can approach us. And if, and if okay. the minimum requirements are, are met, I guess, or if, they, if we can help them and there's a win-win relationship there, we can work with them to define a project. So a project can be, you know, something really small. It could even be a desk study or it can be an actual multi-year um, implementation of the technology in the, in the field where there's a lot of data collected and analyzed and feedback provided. So our projects range from relatively small and short to large and, and multi-year. Excellent. Okay, so that is the smart farm. Did you want to share any more on there? Or do you want to move to the EggSmart event? We could talk about EggSmart. Yep. Okay, perfect. So EggSmart is, is a two-day outdoor expo held right here on campus. It's actually held right in the middle of the smart farm. Um, that includes a trade show, educational sessions, and field demonstrations, as well as this year, we're even having crop plots as part of that for um, hands-on interactive displays, and educational opportunities all focused on ag tech and data for crop and livestock production. So AgSmart is a, is a really unique opportunity for producers and other industry stakeholders to engage with Ecologist Smart Farm and actually get a tour of the Smart Farm um, and visit with our, our research teams and interact with the Technology Access Center for Livestock Production and all the projects that we have under, underway in the Smart Farm. But they can also interact with other service providers and technology developers and enablers who come to the event and, and present or participate in, in the trade show and the educational sessions. So this year's event is scheduled for, let me get this right, August 9th and 10th, and will we'll feature live demonstrations of drones and autonomous equipment and many other things and we'll have I think 50 expert educational sessions and we'll we're planning on including more than 100 interactive exhibits and early bird tickets are on sale now until July 31st so check it out nice before you said the date I'm like when is that event it sounds interesting I gotta go <laughs> Okay. So, I mean, any farmer in the audience that's interested in technology, wants to learn how to adopt it, wants to see it implemented, that would be our target audience for the show, right? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Or like I said, any of the technology developers or, or enablers, um, if they want to come and interact with, with other businesses that can help them or interact with us to learn how they can um, access our applied research services and, and evaluation services, then it's, it's definitely a place to be. Fantastic. What a gem Olds College is. You know what? I'm in the industry. I know you can't know everything, but I didn't realize everything you guys had on the go. That's amazing. So you do the education, 
-hmm. You do the actual boots on the ground farm, and then you send the information out, share it, demonstrate at the show. So it's really a full ecosystem, right? Exactly. All with the goal of accelerating the development and adoption of ag tech to improve um, productivity and sustainability of food production. Because again, that global grand challenge is everybody's everybody's tackling it of, of needing to grow more food with less. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing all this. You got me excited about this. I really want to go. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> I'm thinking I need another road trip out West for sure. So if there are producers in the audience and they're interested in learning more about courses, the smart farm or the event, how the, how can they do so? Website. So oldcollege.ca, obviously we'll have all the information about the different programming. Uh, we have a specific smart farm webpage on that site that includes all kinds of great information about what's going on on the smart farm, links to our current and past newsletters that highlight um, some of our research results and findings and partnerships on the smart farm, um, as well as an interactive farm map, actually. So you can visualize the farm and all the various projects that we have on underway and, and where they occur on the farm. And then EggSmart obviously has a website as well, eggsmartolds.ca, and that has all the information related to the two-day expo. Excellent. You know what, Joy, this has been a fantastic episode. I'm really excited about the work you guys are doing, and I'm sure individuals in our audience will be as well. For anybody watching, I'm going to include a link to the website in the show notes. So you can go to the website, check that out. And I encourage you to head out to the event, check out the website and learn more about all the exciting initiatives at Olds College. So Joy, thank you so much for spending some time with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was my pleasure. You are very welcome. And you in the audience, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this as much as I did, like it, share it, get it out there so other farmers can hear about the great work they're doing at Olds College. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Impact Farming. For more great episodes and articles designed to help you manage and grow your farming operation, head on over to farmmarketer.com. Don't forget to sign up while you're there. We will see you on the next episode.